Welcome to my Airbuster fight guys. Now I'm going to show you my build and everything and this will be step by step just like all my other boss guides. Step by step tell you exactly what you need to do. I'll be pausing the game to explain it as we get to each stage. So hopefully this will work exactly the same for you or more or less. I hope. I'm probably being a bit too overconfident there but we will see how this goes. So to begin I need to make sure all your stats are exactly the same as mine so you've got consistent damage numbers consistent pressure damage consistent stagger damage etc so we'll go to weapons first so you've got cloud barret and tifa cloud will be using mithril saber and i've only done the chapters up to this chapter on hard mode by the way so i've only got the manuscripts before this i did all the chapters in chapter three by the way so any manuscripts after i have not got none of that now so cloud We've got on the first, on the main core, we've got all attack and magic attack, but not magic defense. Um, sub core one, we've got everything except debuff resistance and trade off. Now, that magic 20% boost of all MP, that's very important because although you can only sort of use it once, Cloud's first attack on this boss is going to do a lot more damage because of that. So, you need to make sure you've got full MP. I'll explain the MP in a minute where you can refill MP if you want. Uh, Subcore 2, we've got everything except for defense and regeneration. And Subcore 3, we've got everything except for that last material slot. So that's Cloud's weapon. Barrett's, we have the EKG cannon. And Eastern Mid Cloud, only attack and materia. So I've not gone for uh, critical because obviously if you do criticals, then it's going to throw the strategy out a bit because your damage will be a lot different to mine. So I've they may still happen, but I'm trying to reduce the rate it happens. So this main core, we've got magic attack, HP, and new materia slot. Subcore one, we've got only the new materia slot. Subcore two, we've got everything except for the critical hit damage. And subcore three, we've got everything except for critical hit rate and the new materia slot. That's Barrett. And now onto Lady Tifa. So Tifa have got Mithril Claws, similar to the rest. The main core. We've got everything. Uh, Subcore one, for, we've got only attack spells, MP cost reduction, 20%. We've got only that one. Um, Subcore two, we've got everything on that one. Subcore three, we've got everything but reprieve and new material slot. You're not going to be getting damaged much here, so <laughs> you shouldn't need to revive. So that's the weapons, guys. Now on to the actual material and equipment builds. So Cloud's equipment, obviously Mithril Saber, he's got a chain bangle and the Fury Ring. Uh, Barrett, he's got Magician's Bracelet and the Supernatural Wrist Guards. Platinum earrings would be good, but I've only got one pair, so he's got them. And Tifa, she's got a Geometric Bracelet and the Platinum earrings. Now, Materius, Cloud, he's got Lightning. He's got Lightning, and it's important these are all max, by the way. All this material needs to be max. Lightning and Stefas Block. And he's got ATB Boost as well. He's also got um, Magic Up. And the other magic ups, he's got two magic ups and he also got two MP ups. Them two MP ups, they're not maxed. That's not especially important, but they need to be at least 40% or higher. So they need to be almost maxed. And he's also got first strike and refocus. They're both very important as well. Refocus actually gives you a little bit more stats, by the way. And summoning material, has got behemoth. That actually gives you a little bit more stats as well. So these are all very important. These all need to be. Uh, Barrett, he's got lightning attached to elemental. They're both maxed. He's also got two MP ups. Again, 40% they need to be 40% or higher. He's got Leviathan attached to a summoning slot. That's important from his stats. And he's also got max steadfast block. Tifa, she's got elemental connected to lightning. MP absorb connected to lightning as well. They need to be maxed. That just gives a little bit more MP to play with. That does. MP up materia, she's got 40 to 40% as well. This is only because I have a maximum, by the way. So you need to be 40% or higher. Her summoning materia, we've got Ifrit. That's important from the stats we get. She's got first strike and ATB assist. They're very important. And she's also got steadfast block and parry materia. These are all very important, guys. Obviously, we're both, we're all level 50. That's our weapon level, sort of all weapon 6. Like I say, we've only got them. Um, manuscripts up to this chapter chronologically now if you need to refill your Mako because you're low on magic MP you can actually go back down that lift just straight ahead of me go back down the bottom 
and the floor you actually come on down on the elevator go down two levels and there'll be some crates on that level with a Mako shard inside and if the crate's not there then you probably broke them on your way back up just save and save your game they'll know they're back up and then we'll reappear and I'm sure you know how to respawn Mako shards just get the Mako shard save load the game back up and the crates will respawn and you can just repeat it until you've got a full MP right guys are we ready I hope you are because <laughs> this is quite a difficult fight right but I'm hoping we'll try and keep it sort of stress free so cloud is the leader by the way make sure cloud is the leader right guys so here we go cloud is your leader yeah like I say now first of all we're gonna just use Thundergirt as quick as we can with cloud on the boss it needs to be really quick because the boss will sort of go for cloud straight away then we're going to switch to Barret, use overcharge then we're going to switch to Tifa, press triangle twice and then use two Thundergus with Tifa and while we're doing the Thundergus with Tifa we need to then back to back by the way to charge our teammates ATB via the ATB assist material she's got for using two abilities back to back and then we like like I say once we're using Tifa we're going to keep an eye on Barret's gauge as soon as she gets a full gauge we're going to use Thundergus him We'll be still Tifa, which is going to use him via shortcut, use us to a uh, single Thunderger, then back to Tifa and just press triangle and to not the boss into its second phase. Sometimes it doesn't quite go into its second phase, you may have to hit it a few times triangle and you may get hit once or twice in the process with Tifa and you'll have to sort of hold R1 and press circle and sort of slide back to him. But most of the time, that will knock him into a second phase. I think it depends on Cloud's AI, how much Cloud's AI damage gets off in between, or Barrett's AI. It depends on them, I think. But most of the time, that will knock it into a second phase, and the boss will not get a chance to attack, other than sort of at the start, if it does get a chance to lob some at Cloud. Right, so, <laughs> let's do it, guys. So, first of all, Thunder gets Cloud. Yes, it's going to be very close and very quick, but I'm trying to slow it down and pause it where I can, guys, to explain it. So Thunder Goes Cloud spells, try not to waste too much time. Home in on the boss for R3. That's it, go. Switch to Barret, overcharge, switch to Tifa, triangle twice. Once, twice, and then two Thunders as Tifa. As you can see, Barret's gauge already full, so I'm going to cast one as Tifa, one as Barret, and then quickly as Tifa again. Uh, Barret, Thunder and then back to Tifa. Remember with Tifa, it's very important you're doing back to back so you build your allies ATB. And then as Tifa, yes, so you can see there, we've knocked into this um, next phase. And it's very important, if you're doing way too much damage, you may knock it, you may stagger him there. And if you do, that's going to mess up this whole fight. It's very important, the stagger gauge is literally about right near its limit like that, right near its point, it's about to be staggered, as you can see up there. Because it's very important because it allows us to sort of avoid this middle face almost altogether, and you, you can avoid them fucking annoying hands that start flying around and shooting at you. It's very important, but as long as you've got my similar stats and my build, this should be what happens for you, more or less. Like I say, at the start, this first phase, you may not knock him into second phase with what we've just done. If you don't, just keep getting near him as teeth and press your triangle. It should only take a few more attacks. Yeah, it should have been much more. And once you go into his next phase, quickly side over to him as Tifa and try and get some triangles while he's moving into position. Quick. You need to be very quick here. And then quickly slide back just before he starts to begin tank buster. And once he starts tank buster, once you're all out of the way, don't switch characters by the way when you're trying to get away from him because that will be a bit, it'll make a bit of a delay and the AI normally gets confused and it'll probably get caught by a laser. So quickly get your controlling character out of the way then switch to cloud and if cloud hasn't got a full two ATB gauges use the ATB boost via L1 and R1 he needs two full ATBs for this next part so wait for the laser to start powering down like that and then cast a thunder as cloud and then switch back to Tifa and then start sliding towards it and once that thunder lands switch back to cloud via shortcut and use another thunder that's it. And Tifa, once you get near the boss, use triangle to build up your ATB gauges. Then quickly use a double star shower back to back. Quickly, guys. And as you can see, he's about to be staggered. And this is going to finish him off well. Finish off his stagger. So two star showers back to back. It's very important with Tifa, you always use her abilities back to back. Because she's got ATB assist, it gives your allies some ATB as well. So keep pressing triangle. And you should knock him into his next phase with all that we've just done. This is his next phase. Now he's flying now. And I stay in control as Tifa and just block his first two attacks. 
If you didn't get as many attacks off as I did then, triangle attacks and use only like half ATB of teeth. And don't worry, blocking these first two attacks fills, will fill up her ATB. Yeah, these first two, each, each of these attacks blocking and with that steadfast block material, it probably gives you about 80% ATB. So don't worry if you've not got two full ATBs like I have here because you knocked him into this phase too quickly because you're too good. You're too awesome. Yeah, some of you are pretty good at this. I'm bad. <laughs> I am pretty bad at this. So if I can do this, anyone can do it. Anyway, enough with my lack of skill. Yes, so you're blocking this. One block of this gets you about 80%. And you have to block two attacks. And the third attack will be the tank buster. It's very important to keep an eye out for that. So just block. So block this first attack. And then the second attack again. This will build up A to B. And now he's, now he's done that twice, he's going to do Tank Buster. Keep a look out. As soon as he does it, or starts doing it, quickly cast two Thundergus as Tifa. So keep an eye out. There we go, Tank Buster. Two to Thundergus. Two, <laughs> two Thunder Tifas. Yeah, two Thunder Tifas there. Yeah, double like that. And what that will do, that will knock him out of his Tank Buster, and it will also stop him doing his Finger Beam just after. Don't, just really matter, you can block his next attack. But what it'll do after that, it'll come over to where I'm standing now with Tifa and it'll pause there for a moment. And once he does that, we're going to use two Thundergus as Cloud and Barret. So, but he's going to do one more attack on his way over. So he's going to block it with Tifa. Yep. Here we go. And then we're going to use two. So Thundergo with Cloud, Thundergo with Barret. And then back to Cloud again. And in between this, you can use Triangle with um, Tifa if you want, by the way. Uh, Barret. There we go. And then once done that, just keep this Triangle with Tifa. And you build up Tifa's ATB. And once Barret's done, use this Overcharge. Back to Tifa. And then once Tifa's got two full ATB gauges, guys, use Thundergo twice. And that should, not, that should knock him into his final phase. There we go, final phase. Now stairs T for four minutes. And yeah, he normally does that attack, punches the ground if he stays Tifa. But just be ready, if he starts to fire finger beams, make sure you block his Tifa. And what we're gonna do now, we're gonna quickly do Thundergut's Cloud, Thundergut's Barret, and Barret's almost got two full ATB gauges. And then all we're likely got to do then is while we're Barret, we'll try and just fill up that ATB gauge again, do another Thundergut. And then we'll probably do one more Thundergirt as Tifa. And the boss will be dead. As you can see, Tifa's almost got a full ATB gauge. So it's the time we've done a Thundergirt as Cloud, Thundergirt as Barret. She should be sort of full at least one. But you don't need to worry about two full ATB gauges with Tifa now. Because the boss is near enough dead. So Cloud quickly. Uh, Thundergirt. Barret. Thundergirt. There we go. I was going to shoot with Barrett. That's it. Charge up his ATB. And I'm going to switch back to Tifa. And the boss is dead, guys. Okay. I'll just use Tifa's Thundergo. Why not? <laughs> Make sure he's definitely dead. And there we go. Air Buster <laughs> defeated. Yes. I think that could sound quite complicated. The way it's explaining that. But I think it's better that I've you know, explained it step by step. What to do in this instance, what to do in that instance, instance. I've been pausing trying to explain it, rather than me just going through it in real time, which we'll get through it really quick, and then just saying along the way, quickly do this, try and avoid this attack, do this here. I think these fights go so fast when you actually do them optimally, and you know, you've got a nice, efficient way. You have to pause it along the way to explain it better. I don't know why I've just said all that to you. You just want to see the boss fight. But that's it, guys. The uh, the Airbuster. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope that helps. And I'll see you on the next video.